Well, what is going on, guys? Luke here today, and the new inflation readings are out, and it's a huge jump once again. And with energy prices through the roof already this month, the data just seems to be getting worse, and stocks are getting pounded in response. The people running to my panic room in the group are at an all-time high right now. But thankfully, we have been able to talk everyone off the ledge. But man, is it heavy in there. And a the talk this week centered around inflation, how the Fed will respond because they are in a seemingly lose-lose situation, and what will happen with stocks because of all this. But my concern is greater than that, as there is actually a hidden danger with all of this that nobody is discussing at all, and I honestly don't know why, but we're going to discuss it today and the strategies to handle it. I just ask in exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing too. It's super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. So does this market have you up at night worried? Do you ever think about selling because you just don't know what else to do in this crazy downturn? Maybe the wild swings and noise has you checking your phone all day long, waiting on the latest news or the drop or even a run up in stocks that you own. If just one of those sounds familiar, there is good news. You can sleep like a baby and not have a worry in the world if you take advantage of the sale that ends tomorrow to join the Market Insiders private group where you get full and direct access to me and a group of six and seven figure investors and you get access to four courses for free that teach you how to plan, do evaluation, build up your cash, and you see my watch list with price targets, my buy and sell alerts. We got live weekly Q and A's, exclusive videos, and we started doing financial independence, retire early live streams, and those have been a huge success so far. So check out the pinned comment if you want all that more. And before blasting me for promoting it, I have no ads, no sponsors. This is what YouTube pays me in a month, and I give half of that, half the group's proceeds to charity. All right, so looking at inflation, it is a runaway freight train at this point. There's no doubt about it. It's at like 7.9%, the highest in 40 years. And looking at specifics of why it's so high, you have energy and car prices and food and housing basically leading the way. And that's not good considering those are everyday staples that most people need to live in the modern world. And also keep in mind, energy prices really spiked after Russia invaded, and that happened at the very end of February. So March's readings will almost certainly be even more disgusting given that energy prices are obviously gonna be higher in March. And this quote pretty much sums up many of the quotes out there in regards to this issue. Thursday's inflation data is continued confirmation that inflation is not transitory and has not peaked. Thursday's data is for February, which does not account for the early March spike in oil prices. Robert Sheen, I think that's how you say it, Shine, Sheen, I'm not sure, I don't know how to say it. Anyways, he's the chief investment officer at blank, that word, wealth management, said in an email Thursday morning. We believe there will be even stronger inflation reports over the coming months, which suggests that the Federal Reserve needs to accelerate its rate hike plans even with the renewed uncertainty that has emerged from the crisis in Russia and Ukraine. All right, that was long, I'm sorry, and I'm a terrible reader, so that just made that even worse, I apologize. But back on topic, we have said, and the Fed has said, rate hikes were coming to tame inflation, and given the accelerated pace of inflation, it would make sense to be more aggressive with those hikes. And I think everyone would agree, they should have started way earlier, but placing blame and playing Monday morning armchair, Monday morning armchair quarterback is pretty much useless at this stage. It's not going to help us understand the current situation we are in and how the market is going to react. But Luke, just sell and hold cash while everything crashes and burns. That's how this works and that's what you should do. That's actually not true. Holding cash during high inflation periods is a losing bet for sure. Here, let me give you an example. Let's say inflation goes to 12%, 15%, 20%, whatever the heck you want. Do you think the banks are going to give you 12%, 15%, 20% on your savings? The answer is no. 3%, my guess, would be enough to get all the capital they need and they get to keep the difference and I just think that was to be the best that we get. So if that isn't the right answer, what is the right answer? And what is going to happen with the stock market when we have super high inflation and the Fed is forced to raise rates? Well, the good news is we have been in this exact situation before. In 1980, we had inflation way worse than right now at almost 15%, and the Fed took the unprecedented stance of shooting interest rates to levels we've never seen before, really. Some of you may be old enough or remember hearing your parents talk about 12 to 15% mortgage rates being a good rate. I mean, can you imagine that? But the strategy employed by the Fed worked and inflation came back under control. Paul Volcker was the Fed chairman, and from the time he took office in late 1979, until 1981, 
he raised interest rates to a peak of just over 20% in 1981, and then kind of slowly started backing off the gas until the US came out of the recession in 1983. Let me say that again, 20% interest rates was what he raised it to. So looking at today's market, just the threat of a half point increase spooks the market and sends everything plummeting. I mean, imagine what the market will do if the current Fed starts to get aggressive. I mean, not even 20% aggressive, just a little bit more aggressive than they talk about being. It's going to tank the market, right? I mean, basically the end is here. And even though cash loses money, it's better than losing all your money in stocks, right? That mentality right there is the hidden danger in my eyes because the data shows the exact opposite is true. Stock market returns between 1979 and 1983 when inflation was last this high and completely out of control, Paul Volcker implemented his strategy of super aggressive rate hikes and the S&P 500 had the following returns in response. In 1979, it returned 12.3%. And then in 1980, it was a return of 25.7%. Then in 1981, it was down 9.73%, but then it was right back up the following year to 14.7% in 1982. And rounding out the period, it was up 17.2% in 1983. And as you can see right here, the rest of the decade returned wonderfully as well. So the last time we had real inflation like we have right now, and the Fed raised rates aggressively to combat that inflation, stock market returns were wildly positive four out of the five years, and the only people who lost money were those that didn't invest and just held cash. Those that invested made a ton of money. If you listen to the media narrative and the fear and the political BS that's coming and the YouTube drama, you are going to miss a golden opportunity. And that is the hidden danger with this that is going on right now. Oh, but wait, let me give you some more truths for those who want to try and give me the 25 reasons why this time it's different, even though that has also been a losing statement for over 40 years as well. And you can apply it to any situation. This time it's different is never true. The truth is the only way to keep up with high inflation is to invest and the best time to invest is during uncertain times like right now where everyone is dumping stocks, at least that's what the narrative is. Remember, this will all pass. The doomsdayers are never fully right and are you skilled enough to ignore the noise and then get out at the top, which by the way has already passed like back in November, and then back in towards the bottom or basically, you know, time the market. I know I sure can't and neither can the pros, but hey, if you're that person, you might be able to do it. I mean, who knows? Maybe you're the exception. All I know is we have seen this inflation show before. Don't speculate. I will just continue to buy great stocks at these ridiculous prices and be patient and ignore the noise. It's always wrong in the long run. And click this video right here if you want a blueprint to thrive in this market or the other video if you want to know who I think are the best YouTubers and their best stock picks. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.